Hello, um, here with another review of a movie I have. Um, this one, uh, I'm just going to show it and we'll get started. Um, uh, Bastinos, uh, the pig fucking movie, or wedding draw, a lot of entitled sport. Um, this is actually a really nice, uh, DVD. Um, my god, it's got a, a slip-on case. Um, there's the actual DVD cover itself. Um, it's got all this. It also has a double DVD feature. Uh, one is actually the film, the other is like a bonus special feature type deal. And the booklet actually has some photos and stuff in it. Um, artwork oh, excuse me um yeah it's pretty interesting it's all in German but so I don't understand I can't read any of it but whatever it's interesting pretty nice DVD edition anyway um on to the movie um I don't know where to start really um the movie itself is extremely bleak it's very desolate feeling it's very dark. Um, honestly, it's almost like Jack Nance's weirdo brother who lived in the country. You can almost perceive it as that. It's it's very like I said. It's very desolate feeling. The entire film is. Um, but basically, the synopsis of the film uh, about a man who falls in love with a pig. He has sex with it. They have piglets. And. Uh, he ends up killing the piglets because the piglets choose or the piglets choose their mother, which is the sow he had sex with, over him. So he loses his mind, and the mother pig gets very upset when she finds the hanging piglets. So she runs away. She falls in this mud pit thing. He finds her and then completely loses his mind. And from there on out, it's just a spiraling depression this man is going through and he does some very odd strange things he eats his own feces um, very bizarre acts at the end of the movie um, like I said the movie itself is very it's just kind of sad almost in a sense uh, you feel bad for the character in a way because it's almost like he's the last man on earth or something and the only thing he has is his farm and his animals and his love of his pig in which he loses her, so he pretty much loses everything and loses his mind, and inevitably he loses his own life by his own hands, so he commits suicide. Uh, I just ruined the film for a lot of people who haven't seen it, but yeah, that's the movie in a nutshell. Uh, it's still like I there's so much in this film that really can't be explained because it is an art house film. It's very much so in the lane of like a a racerhead David Lynch idea so of course you know those films you just have to see and just make your own opinion of what you think about it um like i said i actually really enjoyed the film um and i'm not really really big on art house films but i actually really enjoyed this film it was pretty i mean like i said it's very bleak very desolate um there is no dialogue in the movie but there is this this weird music um very it's like synthesized it's like just a series of synthesizers going off at random moments with with one another. Very, very weird music. I did not get that at all. It's like the Apex Twin mixed with Venetian snares on an acid trip or something. I don't know. It's it's got some very odd music. Not like oh, you just have, you have to see the film. Like so, I'm saying it's very bizarre music as well. Um, I actually have not watched the bonus material. I've had this for a good while, I just never have watched it. Um, but it has some, it has a documentary of the film and uh, kind of has some mentioning, or not mentioning, but actually kind of like interview type material with uh, the director. And I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name because I will butcher it. Um, but uh, yeah, I would highly suggest watching this film if you can find it. Uh, 
it was banned for many years because it actually does have live animal killings and they actually do kill the animals in the film. Um, it's very deep film in a sense, like I said, many underlying themes of depression and love and very interesting. I will give it that. It's very interesting. It's not your typical pop, you know, let's go see a movie on the weekend type film, but definitely, but it's a very good film all the same. Um, I would highly suggest it. <clears throat> um, but that's really all I've got to say about it. Just check it out. See what you think for yourself, because that's what it is. It's an art film. You have your own interpretation. So, uh, yeah, check it out. It's definitely worth a view. And uh, until next time, uh, be seeing you guys.